<laughs> look, see? You look like a bug surviving. The Home Depot Challenge. We're doing a boat challenge today. Keep going. You're good. We're going to draw straws to see who gets to make a boat for $1,000. And their boat gets to compete against someone else where their boat only costs $1 or $0 or $100. Hobby Bear, since you're the youngest, you get to go first. Oh, come on. Wow, I got the smallest. You got the smallest. <laughs> <laughs> Hobby frog, okay. Hobby pig. Mine's longer. <laughs> Me and you, hobby dad. Okay, and now we need to compare them all. The smallest one is worth one thousand dollars. What? Smallest one? <gasps> I get a hundred dollars. Hobby dad, a dollar. Hobby frog and hobby pig, zero dollars. <laughs> <laughs> mine is the smallest now. Oh yeah, mine. Smallest. How's that gonna work though? With zero dollars? Yeah. Basically, you have to use items that are already at home. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. But will you help me pick out my stuff? Only if you give me a small amount of your money. <laughs> I like money. Wow. I almost feel like this is rigged. <laughs> it's not rigged, I promise. I should get the $1,000 because I'm the heaviest of the three of these guys. Like, the hobby bird can probably like just float. If it's a windy day, he can just like glide in the air. <laughs> he like might, like, he like might, the like, stork he is. Take off like... Like a miniature Superman or something. Yeah. No. I was thinking like Winnie the Pooh, you know, with his kite. Just roll me out. Just shoot out her. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, he gets weapons too? Yeah. Oh my god. Do you guys have any free stir sticks that we could use? Stir sticks? Yeah. Oh, thank you. You betcha. All right, you thank you. Thank sure. you. Yeah. <laughs> I asked the guy for free stir sticks. Hey. <laughs> that was smart. The power is yours. The power is yours. I'm going to use this as a helmet. How to get it out. How to get it out. You have to have something on the end of it. Like one of those fighting sticks they use in the movies. Like, I don't think so. No. Now is that for him or is that for you? It is a doll of oh, two dollars. I still can't get it. Can't get it. Ah. Ties. Oh, that's a good idea for an oar. You want that one? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Oh, it's two for one. <laughs> Put up a good fight. Here you go. Do you think because he has so much money to spend that it's going to be an epic fail because he's overthinking it? Possibly. There might be some things that he just uh, doesn't technically really need. Oh, like it, it's so much it weighs him down and he sinks. Exactly. Uh, excuse me. Can we get some plastic bags? Dad's bucket, okay? Thank okay, you so thank much. You. You're welcome. Guess what, hobby fans? I decided to tap out and use my money to buy some groceries for the hobby family instead. That way they have some fun, yummy snacks after their challenge. I think that they'll be really happy with my choice. Let's get to building our boats. These two are gonna have to find stuff around the house. Whoever can survive the longest wins. You can't touch the other person's boat with your hands, but you can use items to encourage the other people's boats to sink. When you mean encourage, we mean by trying to make them sink, right? Whoever wins gets one million dollars. Yeah! I only had one dollar. I ordered a used pool noodle on eBay and I was sent this. Clearly not a pool noodle, it's more of a uh, spaghetti noodle. So far, it's not looking good for me. Man, I got a lot of work too. Okay, I'll be dead. Yeah. I'll pay you. $100 if you work for me. Really? Deal. Let's do it. What are we doing first, boss? So, uh, help me out to uh, hammer those buckets. Hammer the buckets, got it. Okay. Uh, we made a sketch and hope this trying creation will be our boat. 
So I've already made a couple boats, but both of them failed. The first one I made was called the Mega Boat. Look at how big it is. I'm just gonna test to see if I can fit into it. And then after that, the next idea I had was actually a flying machine. Let's see if the flying machine works. That was really, really sad. I thought it was gonna work. I was just gonna like fly like a little hummingbird over the pool. I guess that'd be cheating since it technically wasn't a boat, but I was gonna give it a try. And yeah, the flying machine didn't go so well. I'm trying to figure out what I can use, what sort of resources I can gather up, cause I have nothing, practically. I have no money. But thankfully, I have been able, with some help from my comrades, to gather up a few resources. As you can see here, there's some boxes here that I can use for the base of my boat, which is good. And good means good boat. Well, I'm looking at my competition. It doesn't seem very good. Actually, I think there's a tape gun around here somewhere. Oh, tape gun, where are you? Uh, hey, Hobby Bear, what's that? Oh, I bought a switch for my boat. For your boat? Yeah. Well, I have a thousand dollars. I will make the boat really cool. Yeah, I guess so. Well, enjoy the new switch. It's got the new LED screen. All right, nice and tight. The machine went terribly, but here's the thing. I recently had an idea to overflow the pool before the challenge. So like once everyone puts their, you know, boats in, it overflows and they all get drained out and then I go in after them. Kinda doesn't make sense, but first I have to overflow the pool, which is exactly what I tried to do. Um, yeah, that actually went terribly, too. There's the tape gun. And of course, we need an onboard snack. I knew those groceries would come in handy. Emergency flooding supplies. And then, uh, maybe someone to keep me some company. An entertainment system also. What could be my flotation device? Hey, Hobby Pig, you think we can find some old pool noodles somewhere? Maybe, uh, I'm, I'm trying to overflow the pool. Oh. Is that a saw? I saw a saw. Wow. Guess it's with $1,000 gets you then. A giant blazing saw that can literally cut wood in a matter of five seconds. Time to choose my box. Let's see. Looks like some old boxes here that we use for storage for some of the old things I'm using for videos. I think the best box that I could find was probably gonna be this one. This is the biggest box that I could find. I'll get to work. Maybe I could find some pool or somewhere, or to some kind of flotation device. Oh, that's interesting. Some old pool stuff that we can use. So after about an hour straight of doing that, the pool was not overflowing at all. Then I realized I need a bigger squirt gun. So I got a bigger squirt gun and then went about maybe an hour trying to overflow the pool with a bigger squirt gun. Then reality hit me. I need a bucket. So I fill it up a bucket and then after about an hour of, you know, accidentally losing the water out of the bucket, spilling it on the floor, having to clean up the floor, that took about two hours. Four hours total with that idea didn't go so well. So I'm thinking I should probably just build a normal boat and I don't know where to start. I mean, all there really is is, you know, boxes, more boxes, maybe some pool noodles. All right, this might be giving me an idea. I haven't been able to find any though. No pool noodles? I did find this though. That's not beneficial! Guys, I found him. I found R2D2. How do I build a boat? Okay, then what do I do? Yeah, that doesn't help me at all. Um, I don't know what to do. I've been wandering here for like 30 seconds and I feel like I, I'm, I'm just lost. I, I, I just can't. Oh, look. Guys, I think I found something. Yay. Noodle. Noodle. Yes. I'm actually noodles. Oh, Hobby Frog's here too. Yeah. It's a little bit annoying, but you know. I exist I, I live too. with you, so I have to deal with you. Wow, yes, look at so this. Look at these poo noodles. We can definitely, okay, are you gonna seal all of them? 
Well, I'm gonna give you some. See, there's all that. Okay. You can take all that if you want. Because, you know, if you're gonna just steal them, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Uh, I, th I think I can work with these. Let the boat building begin. my idea. See how these are duct taped? These were used before, which means that they have proven worthy, you know, like a reputation for good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up pool noodles on the floor, line up the noodles, and then duct tape them all together like a raft. Um, I hope I'm just, you know, I can fit on it. I think I know what I'm gonna do with the noodle. Hobby Bear, why are you here? I'm gonna give you this. I've always wanted a wooden block. Uh, Why'd you give him the wooden block? I wanted it more. You want it? Eh. This! A wooden block! This, your boat looks hideous. You like a cardboard box or something. Boxes sink, which means that they stink. Wow. Looks like I found a nice big roast stick. I mean, seriously, look at the size of this thing. I could definitely use this as a nice roast stick. Is that it is extremely heavy. So I duct tape three noodles together. That's gonna be beautiful. Yes, the next time you see this, it is going to be perfect. It's gonna be a big, giant, glorious raft. Because cardboard doesn't go well in water, it just, you know, sort of decays. I am going to put this trash bag over it so that it is protected from the water. I'm trying to figure out how I can put, like, a solid surface underneath this. Well, bam! Look at this. It is glorious. I did not spend a dime, nickel, penny, or toe on anything. I did use this. I did it! Boat test one. I taped it on the inside so that the trash bag won't come off. Hey, that's not bad. Let's try to swoosh it around. You know, I'm gonna be moving at the speed of light. Whoa, is that your boat, Hobby Bear? Yes. That looks awesome. Yes. I love it. That's Hobby Frog. And that's that's Hobby Pigs? Wow, really? That's what you get for free for just having stuff around the house. If I had a billion dollars, I'd go for this. <laughs> I put pool noodles inside. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, and Whereas underneath. I, I could surf on this. See, look. Hobby Pig, this is your boat. Are you gonna name it? Yeah, spaghetti. Noodles. And this cost you exactly zero dollars? Zero. I zero. Zero. I found all, everything here you see in the garage. Do you have any electronics in your pockets, sir? No. Yeah, I think, I, win you, I, think, I think you just lost. <laughs> you win the exact amount of money you put into your boat. <laughs> Zero. Yeah. Zero. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I did it wrong. Maybe okay. you need to get a running start. Yeah. Here, here. Look, it's floating. Okay, all right, he's still in it. Don't move too much. And this must be Hobby Frog's vessel. Do you have a name for it? Boxy. All right, let's see if Boxy can floaty. Do you have something to steer your boat with? Yes. Hobby Bear uh, generously gave me a broom. Oh, he, he let him have a broom. That was nice of Yeah, you. very nice. You didn't give one to a uh, Hobby Pig. Well, I didn't, I didn't have another broom, so. All right. Oh my gosh. You are floating, sir. Floating oh on gosh. your own. Oh, this is more trippy than Mine's I better. As he's struggling there. Hey, you can't use your feet on the edge. Oh, Cheating. No, I wasn't. I'm just, you know. All right, I think we have a viable boat. Yeah. Boxy works. Yeah, well, well hey, leave in your comment below if you think Hobby Pig's boat is even a boat. It is. It's just small. What's the name of your boat? Tic-tac-toe. Tic-tac-toe, and you have a license plate that says cool. Love it. Let's do this. Tac toe, here we go. Oh. Ah. It's boat battle time. And here's my boat. 
Uh, I'm just gonna call this the Titanic for the exact opposite reason. It's the smallest size. Ah, oh, it doesn't even float. I guess I lost. I suggest uh, the two that are actually floating might want to gang up on the one that's not floating so much. Oh, come on. I'm not sure okay, who that you is. Fine. Come here. <laughs> Oh, he's using hey, the spray. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. 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 Back here. He is fast. He's very fast. Wow. Ow! Look at me, guys. I'm still here. We have some box exposed. Uh, no! Hey, hey. Hobby Pig's kind of no. like a submarine, no. like a U-boat. No. Oh. Oh. no! Stop that! Wait, no! Oh. He's trying to save his boat. No! Why? For your own safety, do you give up? No! He's trying to add more noodles onto his boat. Yes. That's how you wait. Wow. Oh, back to my feet. Here, look. Here's Box D. Poor Boxy. Ah, uh, poor Boxy. I destroyed no. Boxy. I mean, he still is floating. Yeah. Point it for me, Hobby Pig. Yes. Avenge me. Amazon smile, but it's uh, the other way around, so it looks like it's frowning. No, this thing is too heavy. I can't. Yeah! Yes. Wow! I would have been disqualified. Yeah. Yeah. What? Why? Uh, because you're not even in a boat. <laughs> no, I am. Look. He is in a boat. See, I mean, this boat. is a raft. Look, his is still floating. Hello. You didn't it's sink capsized. it. Capsized. Mine never capsized once. But he's not sunk. Yeah, this isn't sinking. If you were to see someone like this, you were a survivor. <laughs> off of a, a wreck. No, well, technically his is you a wreck. You look like someone so. who just got off the Titanic and is holding on for dear life. Uh, look, see, I can't do this. Yes, you look like a bug surviving in the water. Foxy. No! Oh, that's what's left of Foxy. <laughs> so we might need to take this to the judges, which is Hobby Mom. Oh. Consulted with Hobby Mom, and according to all the rules, which are not official and pretty much don't mean much of anything, Hobby Pig wins. Now, Hobby Pig. You have just won one million <laughs> hobby bucks. Whoa. Well, don't touch it, you're wet. Oh. You can only redeem this at Hobby World. So it's like the equivalent of maybe a t-shirt. So there you go. Oh. Don't get it wet though, otherwise it doesn't count as a, uh, there we go. And I uh, hope you find a great shirt at Hobby World. Uh-huh. Yeah. Thanks for watching Hobby Family TV. Leave in your comments who you think won in this challenge. Yeah. See you on the next show. Toodaloo! <laughs>